Hey guys, Richard here and welcome to the first video of module 5. In this module, I'm sure you guys are excited, you're finally going to learn how to create your campaigns. But before we get to the whole creating your campaigns and making money and all that good stuff, we have to learn a few basic things about Google Shopping. So this first video, we will be talking about how targeting works with Google Shopping. So as you may or may not know, um, the targeting does not work with keywords or interest so what I mean by that is we're not targeting interests right like how we do when we're creating a Facebook ad and we're not bidding on keywords how we do when we're doing Google Ads regular Google Ads right so so what exactly are we supposed to do so the first thing that we have to do is to make sure that our title matches our product right so if we're selling let's say a book bag like the book bag that we found in while doing the product research right so let's say that we're selling that book bag we have to make sure that the title matches the product right and we also want to make sure that the title has no symbols or commas which i'll teach i'll i'll show you guys more when we go into my computer i just want to go over this powerpoint really quick so you guys get a basic understanding so the second way that targeting works with Google Shopping Ads is with the description. So we want the description to match your products and in the, in the description we want to include keywords for your product. Again, when we go into my computer I will explain this a little bit more in detail. So the last way of how targeting works with Google Shopping is with the tags, right? So we want to make sure that our tags match our products and we want to include keywords for your products inside your tags. And again, I will be showing you this now when we go into my computer. All right, guys, so now I'm going to be showing you guys some good examples of a, of a good title, a good description and some good tags. So we're here inside our store. Um, in case you guys haven't seen this yet, this is actually what our store looks like. It is currently live. I think it's coming out pretty good. It's obviously not done. I mean, there's some work to be done, but this is the store that we're actually gonna use to start advertising. So, okay, so let's get into it. So let's go into our products here and let's just pick some examples. So we'll pick the build it yourself six and one solar robot. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna look at here is the title. So this title right here matches the product, right? This, it's saying exactly what the product is. Remember I said no no symbols, but that dashes were okay. So we did use dashes here. So okay, so what I meant by no symbols, right? So you don't wanna do like, you don't wanna put an exclamation mark here. That's really bad in Google's eyes. Also, something that you don't wanna do is put like parentheses, like 50% off. Like you don't wanna do this either. You don't wanna put, you don't even wanna do like buy one, get one free. This this right here would be terrible, terrible, terrible. You don't want to do this because your ads are not going to get shown. Uh, Google's not going to show your products because the title is no good. So the next thing, the description. So remember I told you guys that in, in the description you want to have those keywords, right? So in the description, look at the keywords. So I actually didn't write this description. Our VA actually wrote this. But we do give them some keywords to put in there, like here, solar powered, environmental, educational, and enjoyable. These are all keywords that Google is going to use to search. Um, so like, for example, when people search for environmental, educational, or solar powered um, robot or solar powered toy, our product will come up because we have these keywords here in the description. And I mean, guys, if you guys aren't good at writing descriptions, get a VA to write them. A VA actually wrote this for us, and he did a pretty decent job at it. I really like the bullet points that he used as well. It looks really professional. So, yeah, I mean, if you guys can't write it on your own, get a VA to do it. But you guys need to have a good description to be able to advertise on Google Shopping. So the tags. We actually don't have any tags, which is a good thing, I guess, because now we're going to make them. And you guys will see exactly what I mean by having good tags. Okay, so this is a build it yourself six and one solar powered robot. It's, so this is more of an educational toy. Okay, so let's put, let's start off with educational, oh, educational toy. We'll add that. This is a build it yourself. So let's do, and when people are looking for do it yourself, we'll add that in there, do it yourself um do it yourself toy do it yourself toy 
and guys honestly you guys can have a VA do this as well but it, I mean it doesn't hurt to know how to do it right so let's see what else can we get from these from this description show your child how the light energy coming from the Sun okay so light energy okay so let's put solar powered toy light powered toy okay um, I'll do a few more I'm not gonna go too deep into it I'll probably have the VA do more of them but I think a good rule of thumb is to have at least 20 here I think with 20 you guys should be fine so let's see he also put yeah this is really good this is a really good description solar solar windmill solar revolving plane solar airboat it, he's basically telling all the form he's basically saying all the forms that this toy right here can go into which is really really freaking good this is an interesting toy okay so I'm gonna stop here with the tags but I mean I hope you guys get the idea just have the tags matching their your description and matching your title as long as everything is matching Google really likes that and your products will be more than likely to be shown let's see I actually want to add one more let's see solar revolving plane solar airboat solar plane solar uh, we can even put here let's see show your child how oh, okay so children children toys um, you don't have to put children toy because it, it'll be the same thing as toys you don't have to worry about that assemble step-by-step -step manual okay okay that's fine I'm gonna go ahead and save this so this is actually a great example of a description here we have our tags here which we will we will add more tags or our VA will add more tags. Um, you should have at least 20. I'm I'm going for I'm probably going for 30, but I think 20 is good enough. And then our our title here. So let's go into another product. So let's do what can we do here? We can do the speed boxing trainer ball. And guys, this is this is really on the fly here. I just want to show you guys exactly how I do it, how I look at it. I'm not scripting any of this. I'm literally doing this on the fly here. So the title of this one, Speed Boxing Trainer Ball. Okay, perfect. There's no there's no exclamation marks, there's no 50% off or anything like that, nothing crazy. Speed Boxing Trainer Ball. I think that's perfect. So let's read this description, looking to improve your boxing skills. That's good keywords there. Punch your way to greatness. Even professional. So yeah, guys, this is even... Wow, this description is really good. Yeah, it's really good. So th this is what you want your descriptions to look like. Um, you can hire a VA to do this. So for each product, I think this VA is charging us about like a dollar or two, which is actually kind of expensive, but he's taking his time. I mean, th these are our own, our own descriptions. Sorry about that. But these are really good and they have a lot of really good keywords in them speed boxing trainer ball you want to include so you want to include your title in the description as much as you can as well even professional boxers can use these boxers yeah so this is a great example of a description again he didn't do the tags so we can actually do some tags here so we can put boxing we can put boxing trainer speed boxing training right so these are all things that people can be searching up and that our product will come up um, boxing ball trainer boxing training device we could even go as far as how much are we selling this for 1395 we can even put cheap boxing equipment right so I think 1395 is pretty cheap and we'll do one more here I don't want to bore you guys with tags it's not the point of this video at least get fit okay so get fit while having fun no I don't want to do that accuracy it's already in there even professional box oh professional professional boxing 
boxing training device. No, that's too long. I'll just do professional boxing. Okay, guys, I'm not going to do any more tags. You guys get the point, I hope. So now you guys see, saw some examples of good titles. Good. This this is a, an excellent description. I mean, I can't even say good. This description is really freaking good. And these are some good tags too. Again, for the tags, try to get 20 through 30 in there. You know, the more that you can put in, the better, right? So, I mean, I'm giving you guys a minimum, but notice how I'm not saying a maximum. Okay, guys, so, I mean, that's about it for this video. Um, hopefully, now you guys understand a good title, good description, good tags. That's what you need for your ads to show on Google Shopping. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.